right. So I'm going to try to play this next song. By, re by request to pick my own song, which is just never a good idea. Because I'm completely going to fail at this and flail. So this particular request comes from my, my buddy, um, long, long standing buddy, um, AC Rock, Adam Sisney who is now, uh, has been living in Japan for, holy crap, 10 plus years, I think. Um, a long time. Um, there's a great story behind that and how we met and all that. Um, but I will say that at very, I started trying to do this stuff. He's been such an influence in... Um, getting me involved uh, or, or, or influenced me to keep going. Uh, he, he actually just texted me right now to get in the chat. I'm not sure which one he's talking about because I'm, I'm streaming to Twitch and to uh, YouTube at the same time. Um, but why not? Uh, I, I'll try right now. Um, I'm still figuring out how to uh, manage all of this stuff between Twitch and YouTube. I know people either say stick to one platform or stream to them all or whatever but let's see what happens when i go to twitch because i think uh, that's what uh, uh adam is on i'm gonna go to my channel you probably heard some on. and you're gonna hear that i'm gonna go to my channel you probably heard background and if i go to can i go to my creator studio video producer i'm assuming oh man such a novice over here um, hmm, hmm, that doesn't work quite well, let's see, notifications, yeah, cool, that's great, channel, it's gonna feed back here in a second, oh no, it kept the, it at least kept the, uh, it kept the, uh, audio, suppressed a bit oh buddy adam if you can hear this i see you watching it says edit share i gotta figure this out if we go to no nope, that's not gonna help it's not gonna help at all i know if i went on my on my mobile device it would be the chat is a lot easier Huh. This is uh, learning, learning. Um, Adam, just chat me on Hangout or what? What is it now? Google Chat. Um, I'll still figure that out. I need, I need to figure out my setup to where I can see everybody chatting, and I can communicate with them too, and see what's coming through my 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 streams. So, uh, again, Adam's been a great influence. <laughs> Make me figure this shit out. So what I'm going to try and attempt to play is, um, the, uh, band that kind of changed my way of thinking about music. Um, I, all I knew was popular music up until probably 18, 19 years old. Something like that. I was just listening to mainstream music. I was grew up in Wisconsin, you know. 95, Will Rocker, 105, 103.5, The Blaze, all that stuff, right? Um, which is fun. Which just introduced me a lot of good stuff. Like, I loved Pantera. I loved uh, Tool. I loved Dave Matthews Band. Don't don't kill me, everybody, but. Man, Carter Beaufort is, is a fantastic drummer and has some great times at those live shows. But anyway, uh, this band, Shiner, uh, I was introduced uh, in my college years, I'll use that term loosely, um, and the song I'm about to play is uh, the um, first record off the record that I was first introduced to. So the album is called... La Luna Divinia, 
The song is called The Situationist. The first song that I was introduced to Shiner was called My Life as a Housewife, which I'll not attempt to play, especially on an electronic kit. Uh, this one's going to be uh, challenging enough, and I'm going to fucking fail at it as it is. Um, but it's again, it's all about fun and just playing. But uh, before Lula Divinia was released, they released Play. And then after Lula Divinia was released, there was Starless, an amazing departure from their sound at the time, um, but still honest. And then The Egg, which followed that, so um, which was amazing. And then now you have Schadenfreude, their most recent release, which was released, um, I want to say about maybe four to, four to six months ago. So if anybody, all of my massive followers that are, are looking at this, um, check all of that stuff out. But this, this band truly changed the way I approached music, drumming, collaborating with other uh, band members and just music in general. So I'm going to try and play this. It's called The Situationist. Cheers. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Um, disclaimer, it starts off with a roll. I'm going to try and hop over there as soon as I can and then just kind of flow right in <laughs> more like stumble on in, uh, as best I can. So, uh, here we go.
Ooh, sorry about that whoosh there. Uh, man, what an intro to that record. I've never really played that song all the way through. Um, that was fun. Holy crap. I know I fucked up. Tim Dow. Sorry. <laughs> if you ever watch this, which I'm certainly, um, I certainly know you will not, but my goodness, uh, that's a really cool song. If you're a drummer and you see that, uh, there's some really cool choices, creative choices by Tim um, that should be taken uh, note of uh, the way he pulls back, the way he fills spots that normally aren't filled. No pun intended. But man, a great song. Adam, thanks for the uh, request. To pick my own song, never, <laughs> never a good idea. Um, but man, that was fun. So, hey, I'm going to still tinker around, but I don't think I'm going to play anymore tonight. Um, good stuff. Adam again. It's amazing. I'm, I'm, for those that don't know that we hung out in Chicago. We lived in the same house. He lives in Japan. And now we're able to do this shit. This is amazing. It's amazing. All right. Till next time. We'll see you around.